Hi everybody, it's Jim Davis again from DVS Direct. And today we're going to talk about NewTek's new pan tilt zoom camera, the PTZ-1. So here it is. So what's unique about this camera is it's the first completely NDI enabled camera. So what does that mean? Well, with this camera, you have a Cat5 connection and you can power the camera because it is PoE enabled. You can also control the camera and get video from the camera using all of the uh, NDI protocol. So you have to do any kind of configuration, which we'll look at here in a second. While we're back here, let's take a look. There's also an SDI port, an HDMI port, a, uh, up here we have RS-232, Visca, in and out and RS-422. Uh, so, and then we also have a power connection over here to power the camera with a local 12-volt power, power supply. But like I said, it is PoE, so you really only need a, a power over Ethernet switch to plug into this thing and you have power. Now, something else unique about this camera is that it does do tally so you can't it's kind of hard to see with the lights and everything but there is leds on the front of the camera that uh, will tell you when this camera is live so that's pretty cool i'm really excited to start playing with this thing now we're gonna have to do a couple things before we can use this camera like i did in my previous spark demo the first thing we have to do is install the ndi nx drivers on the computers so when you open the camera box up, you're going to see a card like this. So you want to take that card, there's a little URL on there to go to NewTek's website uh, to download all of the drivers, uh, updated firmware, and the manual. So I recommend that when you get your camera in, you go to this website and get all that stuff downloaded. Okay, now let's take a look at how easy this camera is to set up. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hook the camera up to my network and uh, we'll get started. Now that I have the camera turned on, connected to my network with power, let's see how easy it is to, to configure the camera. Now like I said, the first thing you have to do is install the NDI NX driver on the computer you're going to use, which is this program right here. You download this from uh, NewTek's website. and then you're finished. So now that we've got the driver installed, we should be able to see the camera on the network. So I'm gonna go over to my NDI toolbox and open up the NDI video monitor, or now it's called the NDI studio monitor because you can actually uh, do more with it. So let's go ahead and launch the NDI studio monitor right here. And it should still be, now it's still configured for the Spark demo I did a little bit earlier. So we're going to have to find our camera. So all you really have to do is go up here and put to this pull down and you'll see the camera is now listed because it is on our network. And there you go. So the camera is now seeing video over the network. And uh, if you notice when I mouse over this, I have these controls over here. If you look right over here, if you follow the mouse over, you'll see we have these pan tilt zoom controls. So if I just click on it, I can now move the camera wherever I want it to go. Move it to a different position. And then if I hit store, oops, hit the store button and hit a preset, it now stores that position uh, for the camera. And now I can move it around again like so. Let's move the other way. There we go. Move it up. How's that? So now we'll just set that position by hitting store. This is position two. And then you can zoom in. Zoom up, pan up a little bit. And we'll zoom in some more. 
Uh, it'll auto focus, but you can also manual focus the camera if you want. Just by doing this. There we go. So if you do the manual focus, you can actually store that as part of the preset. And it seems like when you do that, it prevents the camera from uh, hunting around to focus in in autofocus mode. So that kind of works good. I found that to be true on a lot of pan tilt zoom cameras. When you when you set them up, you want to set them in an autofocus or manual focus mode on the preset, and then the camera will default to that focus uh, when it gets there. So now, if I want to move it around using the presets, all I have to do is click on a preset and the camera will go to that position. So now you can see the TriCaster user interface and it's already set up to NTI PTZ. So input one, or I'm sorry, input number five is already set up for the pan tilt zoom camera. So what you do is you go to the output settings, click on the PTZ control tab, and then you'll see all your cameras. By default, they're set to uh, NDI control. So now all you have to do is go to the PTZ tab right here, and you'll see we have all these different input options. Since I'm on input number five, I'll click on input number five. And the presets I set earlier will still be there. So let's go back to our pan, pan tilt zoom camera. And as I click on a preset, you'll see the camera move to those presets. Uh, it's really going to be easy to implement the control of the uh, PTZ camera using the uh, NDI protocol. It's really no work at all, unlike when we were setting up RTSP feeds and you had to go in there and set up the IP address and port number for camera control. So, looks like it's going to make life a lot easier. Now the one last thing I want to show you on this is in the uh, NDI monitor, if you go to the settings, which are up here, and seeing, this is interesting to me, it's ghosted out because I don't have one connected right now, but PTZ joystick. So that tells me that maybe I can get one of these PTZ joysticks and actually control the PTZ camera dynamically with the joystick. So we'll have to see about that. That'll be for a future video when I get something in that I know works and uh, I'll have to do a little bit of research and see what's compatible with it. But the fact that they put that into the uh, the fact that they put that into the system makes me think that you can have a mechanical control if you want of the pan tilt zoom camera. So, anyhow, that's it for the PTZ camera demo. Uh, we are really excited about it because I can see it solving a lot, a lot of problems as well, just like everything NDI does. Uh, NDI is an amazing technology, and. Uh, I can see a lot of different ways that people are going to use this to simplify their video production. Uh, we're excited about it. So anyhow, as I always say at the end, we uh, pr hope that you enjoyed the show and we are a new tech reseller. So if you are interested in purchasing the PTC camera, we would certainly appreciate you uh, considering us as your source. Uh, you can get a hold of me at one 800 379 7267 on the phone or you can email me at sales s-a-l-e-s -E at dvsdirect.com and finally uh, you can go to our website at www.dvsdirect.com so I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and we'll be doing more here in the future I hope and uh, see you soon